Okay, so Blaine. Shut. Stop it, fucking dumbass. So what are we watching? Dark Tower. Dude, that's that's not Dark Tower. It's Comes at Night Part Two. So we brought a person along with us. There's no one there. Who who is it? It's Ralph, the movie maker. All right, I'm gonna go find him. All right, I'm on my way to find Ralph, the movie maker. At least that's what Blaine told me. All right, so Blaine, I couldn't find Ralph. That's why I met. We ain't bringing. Adam. Oh wait, here he is. It's, it's your movie sucks. Hello, sir. Would you like to see a shitty movie list? Okay, he left us. All right, Splain, so Let's actually be serious. Like, what are we gonna watch? We're gonna go watch Hereditary. With who? Our boy Trent. But he's not our boy. Down there, like he, he lost. Where the fuck did he go? <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Johnny Knoxville, and this is closing the door. Yeah, we're gonna go see a very bad movie. Comes at night, part two. Well, no, we don't know if it's bad or good yet. Yeah, you're right, but you know. It has like a 97 on Rotten Tomatoes. And so. of course, Black Panther was a horrible film. And I, like, according to my just saw reviews, so. You know, this is gonna be complete shit. Um, so if I don't survive. It's gonna be a masterpiece. Call the police on Trevor. Cri so, Blaine, what are we gonna do? Hello everyone, I'm Blake Childress, and I'm that one filmmaker, and I just saw Hereditary, and it was a pretty good movie, but there were problems in it that restricted from being a masterpiece, like a lot of people say it is. My biggest problem with the movie was its score. It was, it was decent, but a lot of the scenes in the movie that were trying to scare you, they didn't need music to make it scarier. I actually felt like a lot of the scenes that had the music in it were ruined just because of the music. It felt overbearing, too loud. It just it wasn't scary like a lot of people said it was. I also didn't really like the character of Charlie. It's not necessarily her acting, but I I just felt like her character was kind of cliche, just the little girl in a horror film that kind of scares the audience and makes them feel uneasy. Like that's been done all like a lot. Maybe it's not necessarily a cliche and it's a trope and it's just something that you have to accept when you're walking into a horror movie. I don't know. I just didn't really like her character. But other than that, the film was actually really good. The acting was pretty good for the most part. Um, Annie, who is the mom character, did a really good job. Um, Peter, who was the son character, was... He was okay. I mean, at the ending, like, mainly the part of the movie which was horror, which was the whole ending of the movie, he did a good job in that. Um, the dad character, who was Steve, he got his job done. I mean, he wasn't amazing, but he did what he had to do for the character. And that actually goes for the rest of the cast and all of their performances. They were just, they just did their part. They did enough to make their characters believable. The script for the film was pretty good. I love the plot and I love the ending. And the ending actually was exhilarating. It was terrifying. It was an awesome experience, especially with 
Blaine and Trent, who both of them actually thought that the film was like one of the best horror films of all time. And I mean, it's not that good to me. Like if I compare it to all the other horror films I've seen, it's like, it's okay. But still, it was a really good movie. I give Hereditary a 9 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching this Just Saw. I'm not one filmmaker, and I hope to see you in the next video.